Hi, you're watching Velo News TV. I'm Neil Rogers here in Girona, Spain. I'm with Garmin Chipotle's David Miller. David, thanks for giving us the time. And uh, let's talk a little bit right away about the team training camp that's happening right now here in Girona. What's that been like for you? Uh, for me, it's kind of, it's always like that because I live here and we tend to train together. Um, but I mean, for me, Danny Ryder and Christian, it's been a basically culmination of a training camp, permanent training camp since the Giro. So it's nice to be at home and not in hotels. Yeah, I mean, I was asking uh, Will Frischkorn about that. I mean, when you live in Girona and the service course is here and the staff is here, you know, what's, what is different between day-to-day -day life and how the last week's been? I mean, is there anything markedly different? Are you looking at the numbers a little more closely, or is it all just sort of blend together post-Giro all the way into the tour? Um, not really. There's not much difference with it being here apart from it's just a bit more relaxed. You can be a bit more in control. Uh, plus, it's more comparable because you know the roads. But uh, all in all, I'd just say that the general vibe of when we do the training camps here in Girona is just that everyone's a lot more at ease. You know, it's a, it seems a lot more effortless and you don't feel so much purely kind of training orientated. You kind of feel like a normal person. You know, I know from, uh, from the beginning uh, when Jonathan and you and Jonathan both talked about developing this program, uh, you know, the, the, the talk was about having the team based in Girona. I mean, uh, I know some of the guys live in an apartment building. I think you, you know, Will was telling me you live a little just down the road here a little bit. Uh, how often do you guys get together? Do you get together for dinner beyond training? What's the what's the sort of interaction with the teammates on a day to day basis? Uh, it's, I mean, to be honest, with you, if you go into the old town, we're going to bump into each other because it's so small that sort of central central part of the town. But but I mean, we we kind of tend to keep to our own a bit when we're at tanks. We spend so much time together at races and training camps and stuff. But I mean, for example, tonight we're all heading out to Christian's because he's having a barbecue for his daughter's first birthday. So, I mean, you know, we get together occasionally socially for little special occasions. It's nice. We've got a nice kind of vibe set up here. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about racing. Let's talk about your 2008 season thus far, uh, you know, starting at the Tour of California and through the Giro. How do you rate your season uh, up to this point? I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied because, I mean, my, my season was kind of, more than anything up to now orientated around the, the team goals and, uh, and those were a Tour of California and getting selection to the Tour de France and, and winning the team time trial at the Giro so I mean we've basically achieved all those and, and those, the personal things like I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy you know I mean I, I would have liked that Giro stage win but uh, you know that's, that's bike racing. Some of the guys on this team are, have just found out that they were selected for the Tour de France uh, in the last week. I mean, Will Frischkorn just found out on Tuesday. You and Christian maybe were two of the guys that have known since November, maybe since April of last year when you were talking with Jonathan. Uh, how much of a role did you have in selecting the rest of the guys on the squad? Uh, to be honest, I had no role whatsoever. I mean, I was down to the directors and uh, up to the riders themselves to, to kind of to, to gain that that. That selection. I mean, the bottom line is, is the Tour de France. We take the best nine, and so it's up to the guys who are sort of on that long list to be in that best nine. And, and then the directors made that decision. Uh, me and Christian don't really have any say in that. We have kind of complete faith in the direction. Yeah, sure. And individually, what, what, do you have any one stage? I mean, obviously, a time trial specialist. Is there getting into the yellow jersey, winning a time trial stage? What are your individual goals for the race? Uh, my individual goals are to win a stage and. I mean that's the kind of the number one goal, and then, and then from then on we'll see. I mean if there's a possibility of getting the yellow jersey in that first week, then and then I'm going to be seizing that. Um, but I mean I just want to be in the race and be a protagonist through the three weeks, and in whatever, to whatever degree that that is. I mean be it in breaks or, or in the finales or, or or whatever. I mean I, I I think I've got the form to definitely be be present, omnipresent throughout the race. And what about uh, for the for the team in general? What what do you see a successful tour for for Garmin Chipotle to leave the Tour de France and call it a success? What will that take? Uh, I mean, I think if if we can get to the Champs Elysees in Paris and and have all of us throughout the team kind of not wanting the race to finish and and just having such a good time, I mean, I think that that will be a, a successful Tour de France. And sometimes it's possible to have a great tour without actually winning anything. So I mean, it's, there's a lot of a lot of ways to achieve that. That satisfaction, and, and we'll, be, we'll be doing everything we can to do that. I believe you guys uh, are taking five riders who have never raced the Tour de France. How much uh, responsibility is going to fall on you and, and maybe perhaps Christian, sort of as mentors and kind of leadership? Uh, I mean, I, I think it's, it's always fairly similar for us, for, for myself and Christian. But I, I mean, we're all professionals, and they know what 
what their job involves and, and the Tour de France is, is no different to any other race really it's just a bit bigger and, and there's more coverage they'll, they'll learn the style of racing very quickly I have faith in their abilities One last question talk a little bit about uh, sort of the the change in attitude or what the feeling has been like within the team now that Garmin has signed on as a title sponsor for the next, you know, beyond uh, this season, two more seasons following. Uh, what's that been like? Sort of a shot of uh, enthusiasm, a little bit of extra morale? Uh, oh, God, yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of, it, it validates all the hard work that we've put in. And uh, again, that was kind of on our list of, of objectives for the year was to gain a, a, a title sponsor. And I think to have a, a brand as, of such quality and recognition as, of, as Garmin is for us, it's, it's, it's huge kudos, and we, we want to kind of represent them as, as well as we can. All right, David, thanks for the time. No problem. Appreciate it.